Alex, Trevor, congratulations. You boys are now in the third and final round of this competition. And now it's time to send you back to your home forges to recreate this iconic weapon. Jay Nielsen's War Scythe. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in four days. Yes, sir. I'm back at my home forge. I got all my own tools, but I am certainly going to miss having a power hammer. I've got to do all this by hand. It's going to be a much bigger challenge. Today, I am rough forging the scythe portion of the weapon. There's just a lot of material, and I'm doing all this with a hand hammer, so it's just going to take a while. So as I'm drying out my billet, my hammer just breaks on me. I had to switch to a different hammer mid-heat, so just one other thing I got to deal with. Let's start of day two. I'm going to work on forging out another scythe head. I'm going to use my first blade as a template, hopefully get everything cleaned up so I can heat treat by this afternoon. Now the storm is starting to come back through. I'm hoping we don't have a problem. Uh, the power went out. I'm really not going to be able to use my mill or my grinder. Without these power tools, I'm not going to be able to finish my blade. This is not what I want. Let's start today, too. So I decided to make the bottom blade out of 1095, so it doesn't need to be terribly flexible. Everything seems to be going well. So I'm about to start grinding, and I go to check my blade, and the main blade is under 12 inches. I'm almost a quarter of an inch under parameters. Luckily, I haven't started grinding yet, so I can still go back and forge extra bit out. So I'm really glad I found this problem before it was too late. Finished all the rough grinding. I want to get the quench. Heat treat went well. I'm really glad day two is done. I feel like I got a lot accomplished. So I'm definitely feeling a lot better today. The power came back on, but right now, I just want to get that smaller blade heat treated to work on the bigger blade and then get into making the handle. Everything looks pretty straight. The next step right now is going to be heat treating the forks, and then I'll finish everything up and make it look real nice. The forks heat treated great. I'm going to use this aluminum bat to test it. If the aluminum bat damages these forks any, it's a problem. That's pristine. I have to work on this wood handle now. Everything's fitting really well. I'm going to move on to the detail work. So it's the morning of day four. Right now, all I got to do is the final assembly. I'm in the home stretch. Feels very tight. So judges, we're looking forward to you swinging this blade. It's going to be a beast, and I hope it handles well. Oh, jeez. Trevor, Alex, welcome back to the forge. You boys have had four days at your home forges to work on your war scythes. Your blades will now be subjected to three tests. There will be a strength test, a sharpness test, but up first, our very own dealer of death, the doer of deadly deeds, the kill test master, Doug Markaida. <laughs> yeah, he just looks like a murderer. I am really nervous. All right, Alex. The balance is light, allowing it to be a very fast weapon that you can use middle hand, long handed, or for close quarters. Your weapon will kill. All right, Trevor. Trick or treat. Treat? <laughs> Indeed, it will be a treat.
All right, Trevor, the tip alone penetrates deeply into the gut and the edges here are sharp enough to, well, make it lose its head. Overall, sir, it will kill. Thank you, sir. All right, Smiths, welcome to the strength test, the dreaded coffin challenge. I'm gonna take the bones and beat them repeatedly into the blade of your scythe. And Alex, you're locked in and ready to go first. You ready? Yep. That's what I wanna hear. Alex, you survived. Good job. The only issue I have, you have some slight rolling on the edge, and the head of this moves, so it's not secure anymore. But your edge held up great. Good job. Thank you. How you feeling, Trevor? Uh, pretty good right now. Good? We'll see how you feel in a minute. Nice job, Trevor. Held up well. Your edge is still good, nice and sharp. Everything's still tight. Good job. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths. This is the sharpest test, the zombie. Surprise! To test the edge of your weapon, I'm gonna take your scythe and cut through this rope, thereby releasing a surprise. All right. Alex, you're up first. Ready? Certainly. All right, Alex, it cut easily on the rope. When you're puncturing this, it cuts through and slices. It will cut. Thank you. All right, Trevor, your turn. So you ready? Hell yeah. All right, Trevor, the edge that you have here lends itself to cut the rope much easier. When you're puncturing, it starts to cut all the way through. Overall, sir, it will cut. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, you guys have done fantastic work, but only one of you can be the Force of Fire champion, and that champion is... Trevor, congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire champion. Alex, unfortunately, your blade took some damage in our strength test. Did great work, my friend. But at this time, I have to ask you to please exit the forge. Ultimately, it came down to the construction. Unfortunately, mine just came a little bit loose, and that was enough. One of my main goals was that I wanted to go the whole way. I certainly did that. I'm very proud of myself. I think I definitely made a blade that can intimidate anyone. Well, Trevor, the judges all agree you made a damn near perfect war scythe, which has earned you the title of Fours and Fire Champion and a check for $10,000. Good job, brother. Come on forward and shake our hands. I won! Woo! I think the biggest thing I learned was to keep on trying. If something doesn't go your way, don't get upset about it. Just keep moving forward. This was a perfect Halloween experience. I feel like I just went trick-or-treating and I got a pillowcase full of candy. <laughs>